multiple brush fires have sparked up across the state the last couple of days. You need to be careful with lit cigarettes. The littlest of sparks can start a fire. News 8's Bob Wilson talked to officials about the conditions. He joins us live from headquarters of the Department of Environmental Energy and Environmental Protection. Bob. Yeah, right here, fire danger is high, and they've been increasing that as we don't have any rain on the forecast. The leaves are dry, and currently they're fighting two fires. They've been doing it all night long, one up in Kent, another one in Colebrook. The one in Kent is right up by the uh, Massachusetts-New York border up in that corner. Difficult to reach. They're bringing in Trooper 1 to assist with that. They're bringing in a second helicopter if they can to get as much water on those fires, and whether it's a forest fire up there or a brush fire, it can also be a little fire in New Haven next to some houses. It was a small brush fire in New Haven, some leaves burning in between two buildings, but the scary part is the flames got down in through a basement window and into the house. The firefighters were able to put it out, no one was hurt, but the fire danger is high across the state, and in New Haven, they're warning residents to be careful of the urban as well as the grassy areas. Where we could have fires in the cattails, along I-91 or the boulevard, and especially east and west rock, which would be very problematic for us uh, should we have a fire there. This is what the state is warning about. In the past, they've had large fires on Interstate 91 and 95 all up and down the shoreline. Many times, the fires are difficult to reach in secluded areas along rivers or by the sound or even railroad tracks. Over the weekend, 15 acres burned in a state forest in Portland, another in Tunxis, and they were not small fires. The larger fires, one was 32 acres, another 15, uh, which is on, for Connecticut, we typically see maybe two to five acre fires. So, you know, it just exemplifies the fact that um, Connecticut is, is ripe for brush fires this time of year. So this is what we're talking about around state parks through Connecticut. You look here, there are no leaves on the trees right here. There's all this dead, dry stuff. And over here in this area where there's grilling allowed, you can see how the coals have fallen out of the grill and landed right on the ground here. This time of year, those coals can easily catch the leaves on fire. It's been happening around the state. So Deep is asking you to please be careful. A lot of dry twigs and leaves on the ground. We have a lot of fast ground fires that really don't deep into the soil. Later in the year, we'll see some of that. But uh, this runs quickly along the forest floor and the woodlands, and it creates a lot of smoke. And um, a lot of people get nervous when they see stuff like that. Yeah, and one of the things, as we said, not much rain. The green leaves aren't out. Even on the trees right here, you can see the buds started to come out. The problem is those green leaves, when they're out, are good. But right now, because they're not out, they don't create any type of barrier on the ground, and those fires can take off. So Deep asking you to please be careful. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live at Deep Headquarters, News 8.